Bayes formula is used to update a probability of an event because you now know a piece of information that changes that probability. So let's take a look at this tree diagram where for a certain event, either A happens or AC happens. AC is the complement of A. What happens if A does not happen? If A does happen, B could happen or B complement could happen. And same thing for AC, where B could happen or BC could happen. A probability diagram or a tree diagram goes from left to right or top to bottom where A happens or AC happens and then you find the probability of B given A has already happened. But what Bayes formula does is we know that B happened. You go back to ask yourself what's the probability of A happening now that you know that B happened. Bayes formula can be complicated but I like to teach it in three simple steps. Step one is to set up the tree diagram. Always start with the general tree diagram here with A, AC happening, and then from A or AC, it branches off to B or BC for both. So now let's take a look at this example. This is from my CFA level one simplified workbook. The example is, let's say you make a bet on the housing market and invest in a real estate fund. At the time you bought into the fund, you had a 10% probability of earning 7% and a probability of 90% of earning 3% after a year. But two months after you bought the stocks, the largest real estate developers unexpectedly announced a chapter 11 bankruptcy. To combat the impact of this, the government announced that they might bail out the real estate developers, which will maintain your earnings potential as the same. But if the bailout does not occur, then the probabilities of your earnings will change. Let's draw the tree diagram for this specific example following the general tree diagram. Step two is to recite the general formula. The mnemonic or the memory trick that I use to remember the Bayes formula is pap ba ba. Pap ba ba shows you the order of the A's and B's in the tree diagram that shows up in the formula. So the probability of A given B is what we want to find out, knowing that B happened is equal to the probability of B given A divided by probability of B times the probability of A. And finally, the step three is to plug in the formula based on the tree diagram example. So probability of A given B is going to be the probability of a bailout given that you get at least a 5% return because the information that we know is that you did earn more than 5% return. That's going to equal to probability of B given A, which is probability that you get at least a 5% return given a bailout, divided by the probability of B, which is probability that you earned at least a 5% return, times the probability of A, which is the probability of the bailout. And for this example, you see that in the tree diagram, the probability of at least a 5% return given a bailout is going to be the probability of B given A in this red circle here, which is the 10%, divided by the probability that you get at least a 5% return is going to be the blue squares here, which are these two branches that you earn at least 5% return. The probability of B, which is the probability that you get at least 5% return, is going to be how you get to bail out and then at least a 5% return, which is going to be 70% times the 10%, plus the probability that you get no bailout times the probability that you get at least a 5% return, which is going to be the 30% times the 40% times the probability of a bailout is the probability of A, which is at the very first branch off, which is 70%. So when you plug this into the formula, you get 54%. Now let's take a look at the CFA level one question set in module four. Number three, an analyst estimates that 20% of high risk bonds will fail or go bankrupt. If she applies a bankruptcy prediction model, she finds that 70% of the bonds will receive a good rating implying that they are less likely to fail. Of the bonds that failed, only 50% had a good rating. Using Bayes' formula, what is the predicted probability of failure given a good rating? Step one, as we saw before, is going to be to draw the tree diagram. So you have a bond and it's going to either fail or not fail. And of the bonds that fail, you get a good rating or a bad rating. And same thing for the bonds that do not fail, you get either a good rating or a bad rating. It says that the analyst estimates that 20% of high-risk bonds fail. 
So we know that the probability of A, which is the fail, is going to be 20%. And it says she finds that 70% of the bonds will receive a good rating, which is no matter if the bond fails or not fails, the fact that it gets a good rating is going to be 70%. And finally, it says the probability of the bonds that failed only 50% had a good rating, that's going to be the probability that the bond is a good rating given a fail. Step two is to write the formula, which is PAP BABA. So write that out. Probability of A given B is equal to the probability of B given A over probability of B times probability of A. And plug it in. The probability of good given a fail Oops, I wrote A there, but that's supposed to be a fail. Divided by probability of good times probability of fail. The probability of good given fail is 50% divided by the probability that it's good in either case of whether it fails or not fails is 70%. And the probability that it fails is 20%. So the answer that you get is 14%, which was B. Next, let's take a look at the question set for Bayes' formula in the CFA Level 1 book, number 4. In a typical year, 5% of all CEOs are fired for performance reasons. Assume that CEO performance is judged according to stock performance, and that 50% of stocks have above-average returns or good performance. Empirically, 30% of all CEOs who were fired had good performance. Using Bayes' formula, what is the probability that a CEO will be fired given good performance. Step one, tree diagram. The general tree diagram is A, A, C, which branches off to B and B, C and B and B, C. Now, how do you know what is A and what is B? The hint lies in the question where it says, when one thing happens, then another thing happens. And here, the example is, 30% of all CEOs who were fired had good performance. So it's telling you the order of all the CEOs who were fired, so that happened first, had good performance, that happened second. So the CEO is getting fired is going to be the A, and good performance or bad performance is going to be the Bs. Now step two is going to be to recite the general formula, which is pap baba. So probability of A given B is equal to probability of B given A divided by probability of B times probability of A. And step three is going to be to plug it in. Probability of being fired given a good performance is equal to probability of good performance given that they were fired divided by probability of good performance times probability of fired. And again, we know this because of the tree diagram. In the question, it tells you 5% of all CEOs are fired. 50% of stocks have good performance. So whether the CEO is fired or not fired, for both good and good is going to be 50%. And also it says 30% of all CEOs who are fired had good performance. So that's the probability of B given A. So you plug that in. And the answer that you get is 3%, which is the answer C.